In this video, I'm going to help you understand the dropping a ball from 50 centimeter above the ground to a glass. Let's first take a look. I'm going to find the velocity right before it hit the glass. We know acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 meter per second square. And we also know the length, which is 50 centimeter, which is 0 0.50 meter. Two sig fig and two sig fig. Very important. Uh, VIT plus half AT square. Now, when you drop something, initial velocity is zero. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna bring this one to the left side and send this one to the right side. So half AT squared is equal to D. AT squared is equal to 2D. T squared is equal to 2D over A. All right, so now T squared is equal to 2D. What is D? D is 0 0.50 meter. And A is 9.8 meter per second square. All right, so this is our t. Now we're going to find the velocity vi plus at. Remember when you drop when you drop anything the initial velocity is zero. So we set it to zero. So vf is equal to a is 9.8 meter per second square and t is the whole thing. Zero point second goes to second square just once. So vf However, this is not a correct answer. Why this is not a correct answer? We started with two sig fig, but we ended with how many sig fig? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, what did I tell you about the significant figures rule? It allow you to not be more precise than what you start with. It allow you not be more precise than what you started with. So you started with two sig fig, so you conclude with two sig fig. So your final answer is this one is the your final answer should have two two sig fig. So this is the target. All right. So you look at the next number. If that is uh, less than five, then you don't change uh, the value next to it. So three point one meter per second. Okay. So this is the answer for door number one. So let's try to open it. Uh, two sig fig, 3.1. All right, good. This is the 100 centimeter one. I'm also going to find the velocity around this time when ball about to hit the glass. For us that I put a decimal over here. That means there are three sig fig over here. So let's um, I'll convert it to as a unit. We should be one meters acceleration due to gravity of course 9.8 meter per second is square now we're going to find the time d is equal to vat plus half at squared when you drop anything the initial velocity is zero so half at squared is equal to d so t squared is equal to 2d over a so t squared is equal to 2 d is of course 1.00 meter and a is of course 9.8 meter per second square all right um, so now since we have the time we're going to find the velocity so bf is equal to a is 9.8 meter per second square and t is i'm going to copy and copy that one 0 0.4 second second goes to second square once so velocity final is a 25 meter per second however the least number of sig fig we started with two so our final answer has to be two sig fig so vf is equal to 4.4 since this is less than five we're not going to change this value meter per second now let's check it on the escape room so it should be 4.4 all right we open the door now I am going to find the velocity right before the ball hitting the glass. What do you know? We know the length. Length is 150 centimeter. Notice the decimal over here making it 3 sig fig. So length is 1.50 meter. Acceleration is 9.8 meter per second square. 
and what is unknown velocity we want to find the velocity right before it hit the glass d is equal to vat plus half a t squared so this one is zero so t squared is 2d over a so t squared is equal to 2 this is 1.50 meter over 9.8 second all right so now we're gonna have to find the velocity final velocity final is velocity initial plus a t that means this one goes to zero so velocity final is a is 9.8 meter per second squared and t is of course we have it over here 0 0.55328333352 second second goes to second square one second again we started with what is the least number of sig fig we started with this there are two sig fig and there are three sig fig least number of sig fig we started with two so our final answer has to contain only two sig fig since this is less than five our final answer is this 5.4 meter per second okay we escape Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.